Hello everybody, I'm Mr. and welcome to, oh well, rather, yeah, welcome back to the Silent Age. We are now in chapter 2, the future. So after moving on from the present, we're now in the future, or we're saving the future. So, uh, to recap, in the first chapter we met a dying man from the future. He came back to the past to change the future. And he gave me some sort of temporal time machine device, which is nice. And he has set me a task to find himself in the past. Uh, it gets complicated. So anyway, moving on. It's okay. After learning about Frank's sudden departure and getting promoted, drama unfolds as Joe, pardon me, finds a dying time traveller who asks him to save man from extinction. Now in police custody, Joe must make sense of it all. Okay. Uh, if you restart this chapter previous, uh, yes. So restart the chapter. So this is now the future. Yes, here we go. And action. Look, I don't want to be unreasonable here. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, no sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? Hmm. See, uh, I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know? Uh, in complicated matters. Uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh... He's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what, I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Um, Take your time. I bloody will. Side of the door says evidence room. It's locked. Um, it's just a 
place, but it's, 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 it doesn't look like a police station at all. Where did they take me? Major J. Edgar Hoover. Uh, let's go to the basement. Oh, okay, I only count three steps. First to a find, the third seems to be somewhere in the basement. Okay, so I'm not going that way. I'm going to go up. First floor. Okay, I can still. Dokey, dokey, there's a hanging man. Let's go to the obvious door. Can I go in? No, it's locked. Oh my dear crikey. <gasps> oh god, what's this? I feel nauseous. I still don't have a clue what just happened. And now there's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. This is a nightmare. It's gotta be. Wake up, man. Wake up. There's a key attached to his belt. I should grab it and hope it gets me out of here somewhere. Okay. Whatever this key is for, I hope it takes me far from here or wakes me up. Okay. There's something else on the floor here. There's a hammer. Come in handy. Yes, a hammer. They must have nailed that door up. Okay, so let's use the hammer with the door. The hammer doesn't have a claw to remove the nails in the place so thick. There must be a better way out. Okay. Let's try the key with the office door. Is tight, I think it's rope. 
Sorry for the guy who says it's hanging from it. It's, tr it's tying the door in place. Okay, so do I need something to chop that down? Oh, I don't think I'm going anywhere. Okay, okay. I just, this might be totally far out. What if the time travel girl was right? What if this weird box in my pocket actually took me out there, the future? I mean, think about it, Joe. What other possible explanations could there be? You're not dreaming. That's for damn sure. Head hurts too much. Can't I go down? It's a big gaping hole in the floor. Yes. Let's have a look at this picture, see if there's anything behind the picture. It's Wyatt Earp. Good thing these pictures have labels. I would never have guessed Wyatt Earp, who's he? Um. Hmm. So 
stop it for us all. Okay, let's try weapon oil. Let's move it up a bit. Plus, I'm going to see you less stiff now. Okay. Wow. Wow. It's open. Wow. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Take the katana. Vigil. It's a katana. I've always wanted one of these. But somehow, I don't feel as excited about it now. Okay. There's nothing else in there. What can I use the katana with? Ooh. Cut down the skeleton. Or. Hack the balls off. Okay, let's go back up. Let's cut the uh, cut the whole skelly down. So use a katana with the rope. Hey! Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> okay, the rope's cut. Now, can I go into the door? I can now go into the office. Okay. So, ooh. where am I? Oh, there I am. Good. Bookcase. Any other bookcase? Lots of dusty files and reports. Okay. Window. What's out the window? There's a big tree right outside. I might be able to get out that way. Oh, okay. Desk. There's a dusty rope roster on the desk. It seems a lot of officers were homesick that day. Dead police officer. I'm not sure I'll get used to this. Okay. Is there anything else in this room in which I can use? No, that's it. Okay, keep running. Okay, now, uh, oh yeah, no, there was a hole. Okay, that's no good to me at all. Let's see where this skelly's gone. See where he's dropped. There he is. Dead body. It was bad enough when it was hanging from the ceiling. Rope. Should come handy. Okay. Uh, it looks like one of those fly zappers. Oh yes, by the way, if you could hear some drilling noises, uh, that would be because my landlords uh, have got the scaffolds in and they're building the stuff upstairs, so um, apologies for that. They'll probably be with us for about, oh, I don't know, eight weeks. Maybe I should try something else. A hammer to the window. As wide as outside, I won't need a rope. Oh, so I can just go through the window. Whoa. Can I go this way? No. Tree branch. Ha <laughs> ha. Whoa, that's uh, that's really far down. Whatever that guy was feeling in that movie Vertigo, that's what I'm feeling right now. Okay, so let's tie the rope to the tree branch. Yes. That's really good. So when you complete the correct activity to move forward, it gives you like a, 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 a sort of a high pitched sound as you know that. So that's good. So let's see if I can go down. Yes. And here we are. We're in chapter three. Okay. So we're going to pause there. And I think we're going to stop at each chapter anyway. So. There he is. So we've escaped now uh, the interrogation room. We've popped into the future uh, due to the time machine device. We pressed. And um, not quite sure how far into the future we've come. But the both the interrogation officers are dead. And we had to escape from the, uh, I'm going to imagine it's a police building police station um, so the next chapter is called The Machine and I'll just read the premise for this chapter having escaped police custody using the time machine Joe is now on the run and in search 
of the Time Traveller. Convinced he has taken the... Oh, convinced he has been taken to the local hospital. Actually getting there is proving difficult. So, so that's that. That is what we're going to explore in the next episode of The Silent Age. So once again, if you enjoy the episode, please like, subscribe, and... <coughs> excuse me, comment, and uh, see you in the next one, cheerio.